Joining me now, Republican Congressman Matt Gates, a member of the House Judiciary Committee. Congressman, thanks for coming in. Thank you, Ed. Happy Valentine's Day to you. <laughs> Same to you. Andy McCabe says the disgrace is it took so long for him to be exonerated. Is that right? The disgrace is that Andrew McCabe isn't going to be behind bars. Let's remember he leaked, he lied about leaking, and then he lied about lying about leaking. We can't live in a world where an old FBI business card doubles as a get-out-of-jail-free card when people break the law, especially when you see that when folks were accused of lying like Roger Stone and Michael Flynn, they had the book thrown at them. And so I think there's still probably a little swamp left to be drained at the Department of Justice, and I'm hopeful that Attorney General Bill Barr will get the job done in that regard. So what happened? Did Bill Barr, the Attorney General, let you and the president down? I wouldn't make that allegation. Uh, there are a lot of folks in the Department of Justice. Remember, Bruce Orr still works there, for goodness sake. So when you get down below the senior management, I still think that there's some work to be done to have folks who reflect, I think, the right views and values that the senior leadership at the FBI have. I have total confidence in Bill Barr. I think that the Durham uh, indictments, I shouldn't say report, but indictments, yeah. uh, will be effective in helping to drain the swamp over there, but certainly disappointing news as to McCabe. Well, well, but hold on, Congressman. You seem to be letting senior people of the Justice Department off the hook. We played a clip a moment ago of you with me on this program in September mm -hmm. where you said, quote, unquote, we've got McCabe dead to rights. If you had McCabe dead to rights, why is he not being held accountable? The president and his team oversee the Justice Department. The factual allegations that I made that you played before the break were borne out in the inspector general's report. So remember, these aren't allegations by House Republicans or the president. These are allegations by the FBI against the former FBI director, Andrew McCabe. Whether or not the prosecutions that have been brought forward to me is obvious. I think it should have been. But remember, these prosecutions have to go before a D.C. grand jury. Right. I believe there was a D.C. grand jury impaneled as to McCabe, and it might very well have been the case that they weren't able to get an indictment. Yeah, That's point. not the fault of the senior leadership of the FBI. It's just the consequence of our criminal justice system. But, Congressman, you're close to this president. What is his reaction tonight? We're seeing these reports that he's furious about it. Have you talked to him? Have you heard about his reaction? I've been on a plane, haven't spoken to the president today. I wish him happy Valentine's Day, but I suspect that he's frustrated uh, that Andrew McCabe will not face consequence because really Andrew McCabe got the ball rolling on this mm -hmm. investigation. And I believe it was truly McCabe who converted this from a counterintelligence investigation yeah. that it was supposed to protect the president and protect the president's campaign into a criminal probe. And Mc McCabe had his own problems lying about uh, his own leaks to the media. But Congressman, last question. You saw me interviewing this president president in September at the wall uh, near San Diego, California. And I pressed mm -hmm. him about James Comey, who he's been hot about for a long time. He got a slap on the wrist, even though, as you say, the inspector general, general found wrongdoing. Now McCabe, inspector general, on the record, found wrongdoing, lie under oath, all the rest of it. It got him fired. And yet he's getting off the hook. Are you really confident tonight that John Durham, this prosecutor, is really going to hold people accountable? Durham has different powers than were given to the inspector general. He can actually bring criminal charges, and it's my expectation that he will. But obviously, when you see Comey and McCabe, and you see Bruce Orr, for example, still working at the mm -hmm. FBI, it's easy for the American people to wonder whether or not the FBI and the Department of Justice will truly go after their own. And when you get below the senior management, uh, maybe there's the case that those folks are getting leniency that they shouldn't otherwise get. All right. Congressman Matt Gates, we certainly appreciate you coming in tonight. Thank you. All right.